Hi ladies, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations and I am here to share a happy mail. It's a bit late. I've been a little crazed as always. You guys know me by now. This is a wonderful happy mail sent by one of my wonderful subscribers, Carol Blair. And I wanted to come on and share it with you guys. She is a very sweet lady and I thought it was awesome. She had wrote to me and told me she wanted to send me some purple stuff. So I want to show it all to you ladies. So first you're going to see some beautiful um, seam binding in a very beautiful lavender and a very beautiful deep purple. And this is going to work perfect for the wonderful book that Marlene from Mars um, of Michigan, Mars from Michigan sent me um, on doing the ribbon flowers or the embroidery ribbon flowers. She sent me a book, so I want to try doing some of that. So this is going to work perfect for that. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think there's another purple in here too. Yes, there's a deep purple and then another purple and then the lavender. So I have three different purples to work with. I know you can't see them in here and you're probably not. Oh yeah, you can. You can see them. There's two different purples here and then the lavender here. So I have some gorgeous, gorgeous colors to work with. Thank you so much, Carol. I absolutely love I opened it and looked at everything first. Sorry, ladies. I couldn't wait. So, um, and look at this. Is this not beautiful? I haven't seen this anywhere, and I love when I have something that I haven't seen or don't have. But these are like sprays, and they have the pearls running through them and all these beautiful little purple flowers. But look at a look at all of them in here. Is this not gorgeous or what? What can Laurel do with this? I'm sure I'll have a million ideas to to share with this. So thank you, Carol. This everything in here is just gorgeous. And then she sent me a big giant piece. I'm gonna move the box over so I can show you, ladies. Look at this fabric, and I mean it's like I can't even tell you how much fabric is here but it's insane and it is absolutely gorgeous it's got i don't know it's a different little bit different color on the back i can't tell you what type of material this is i have no idea i wish i knew what it was um don't mind my hands i was gessoing and stuff um but it is it is so soft it's absolutely gorgeous i will think of something amazing to make with this but look at did you see how long that was? And look at how much there is here. It is just a ton of gorgeous purple fabric. I don't know where she got this, but it is truly amazing. And I feel so bad that I got this done late. Um, but I'm just, I, I got about a million things running through my poor little brain. And I, I, will, I have a problem with hoarding my purple for a little bit for a while. But I do want to share this with you because she is a wonderful and sweet lady. And... I cannot believe all the gorgeous stuff she sent me. And then she sent me another beautiful fabric. And can you see that uh, running through there? It is like a metal, not metallic. Uh, I don't know. It's a very shiny purple threading running through here with a star and then the swirls and then another star. It's absolutely gorgeous. But look at this big giant piece of fabric as well. I am going to be like in purple fabric heaven here with this. I think I might make some flowers with these because these would be beautiful flowers, but it's gorgeous. Beautiful on a wall hanging, on a book, a book cover. It is just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And it is a gorgeous lavender. I know you guys are probably seeing it like that. I don't know why purple, the one color, doesn't like to show up right here on YouTube. And then she sent me a piece of this and it is almost like a tool but not it's way softer it's like oh it's like an organza a beautiful purple organza this would make some beautiful flowers too as well oh yeah Laurel's gonna love this me me I'm gonna love this <laughs> I always talk about myself like that when I'm showing stuff but it is gorgeous thank you so very much Carol I really 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 appreciate it it was so very sweet of you to send to me all right then I see some crochet work in here. And this is a piece of a beautiful purple doily. And look at that. I love the way it's ruffled like this. It's not flat. It's got a ruffle to it, which is really pretty. Hope you guys can see that. It's 
pretty big. It's gorgeous. I love the way it's tattered all along the edge like that. I'm sure she cut it out of something, but I love the tattered edge like that. It's beautiful. And then some more purple. And this is a, I'm not sure what this is. It doesn't look like anything's been cut anywhere. Oh, it has. So there were doilies in here, but um, these are great pieces for on the end of tags and stuff like, oh, this will all definitely get used, but I love the variegated purple like this and the different colors. That's awesome. I love these. These can all be used underneath in little spots and flowers and everything, cut pieces of them. But yes, this is gorgeous. I love this. And then this, this one is just beautiful. I don't know what it is. It's one solid piece. It's a ring. But look at this. That is like the tiniest crochet thread. And I use tiny crochet thread. I don't know what stitch this is, but I absolutely love it. And I am going to try and figure it out and see if I can crochet that or not. Um, I know the stitches. I'm just have to figure out what they did, but I really like this scalloped like this. And then with the variegated on the edges as it goes around, same across here, it's variegated as it goes around. I just think that's absolutely beautiful. I don't even want to cut this apart, but I will at one point and use it. It's beautiful. And then there's more doily pieces in here. So let me get those out and show you. It was very, so very sweet of her to send this to me. And then we have some beautiful, oh, these are the doilies, I think, that go in there. Those are really pretty. I like that stitch. Yes, these are the doilies that go inside that, that big one. Those are really pretty. I like that. Those are awesome. These will be perfect in flowers. Okay, and then we have another beautiful, um, this looks like a crochet trim or tatting, but oh my gosh, this is so tiny, guys. I don't know if you can see. Let me get something white so I can show you. You know me, I'm always late to the party here. Always thinking after the fact. There we go. Look at how tiny and intricate that is. Can you guys see that? This this looks like tatting. I don't know if tatting you can do in a straight line. I'm still learning, but that is beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. And look at how much of it. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Carol. And then we have some more seam binding in a lavender. Look at this old package. That got to keep that. That is awesome. Coates and Clark. I wish it had a year on here, but you can tell it's an older package. That is awesome. Wash and wear. That is really cool. I love this. I will keep that packaging too. Love the seam binding. Perfect for the ribbon embroidery I want to do. And she sent me this beautiful piece of trim. And look, she put a little purple pin in it as well. But look at the design on there. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love that. Love the edging too. Beautiful. Like I always say, I can never have too much purple. No such thing. And then look at this very cool piece. You know this is old too. You can just tell this is old. I'm not going to say it's vintage. I don't know, but I can bet it is because it's super old. But I don't know. This is like done with thread you would use for just sewing. It is so tiny and intricate. Just just the stitches in here. It's. I'm trying to make out what it is, but it is just... I love this teeny tiny stitches like this. I might have to put this in a project in a little book or something and keep it because I don't know if I could crochet with something that tiny and the stitches are so perfect and so tight. It's beautiful, but I know it's old. It is really pretty. Thank you, Carol. And then she sent me some odds and ends pieces, which I love. This is like a, mm, a velvet these will be cool. I can use these in flowers as well. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love the way it looks silver and then purple. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love those. So I got three of those. Oh, maybe one more. 
no, three of those. Oh, and look, she sent me another piece of that. I wonder if she does this. This is so weird. Look at, that is thread. That is like thread for a needle. Look at how tiny those stitches are. And I love this design. This is cool. Like she was trying different stuff. I, I'm going to have to find out if she actually does this because that is amazing crochet work right there. I mean, the stitches are just perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this little piece. I love that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. There you go. Look at how teeny tiny that is. I mean, there you go. Look at how small those stitches are. That is beautiful, though. And then a little purple flower with green on it, like little leaf things coming off. And it even has the yellow in the center. <laughs> it almost looks like a pansy, a peony pansy. That's really pretty. I'm going to keep that one, too, because I like that. Oh, and then I got another piece of this. Love that. And then this beautiful um, lace. I think she dyed this. It's a really pretty color, though. Beautiful lace. I'm going to hold it on the white so you can see it. Beautiful. It looks pink, but it's not. It's like a pinkish purple. It's a shade of purple. And I love every shade of purple. And then this beautiful one, which I love this color, too. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you so very much, Carol, for everything. I really, really, really appreciate it. You did not need to send me all of this. But she had wrote me and said, I just want to send you some purple. This fabric that she sent is just amazing. I don't know how she got this all in this box. I probably won't get it back in there. But um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. And I am going to use it to make some beautiful, beautiful things. Look at how much fabric is there. I mean, if you guys could feel this. This fabric has some weight to it, but it is it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And it is it is um purple. It's like a um what's the word I want to use? <clears throat> Satin sheen lavender. It's it's just beautiful. Sorry about the phone. So yes, I absolutely love everything. So thank you so much, Carol. I really, really appreciate it. Um, sorry I got this video out a little late. It's just been a little crazed around here. Um, but thank you so much. I'm not sure if she has a channel or not, late or not, ladies. If she does, I will make sure to link it in the description box below. I will have to write her and find out. And um, I will, if she does, I will put it in the description box below. But I will put her name as well because she just is a super sweet lady. And it was just really so nice of her to send this to me. So thank you again so much. Don't forget. To get out there and create oh don't forget to get out there and create something and i will see you all soon bye for now